morning, good morning. If you see my title, my, um, well, I didn't even do a title. <laughs> I just jumped on here. I just got through praying. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, go ahead. This is what God wanted me to share this morning. Um, it is Psalms 46.10, King James Bible. It says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Praise God. Praise God. Like I said, I didn't even get a title. I I'm, I'm just feel the power of God this morning. I just got on here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, this is what God wanted to know. A lot of his people are going through in this season because this is the sifting season. But God told me to tell you just what you see. Psalm 4610. Be still. Some of you doing too much. You're trying to make it happen. Don't try to manipulate anything. God has you. I promise you. God has you right where you're supposed to be, whether it's good, bad. Because remember Romans 8, 28, everything works together, the good and the bad for those that love the Lord and accord according to his purpose. Don't try to make nothing happen. God says, be still and know that I am God. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He is not finished with you. He has not forgotten about you. He said, I will be exalted among the heathen. You ain't got to worry about what people doing, what they're not doing, what they're supposed to be doing. I promise you, God is going to use it for his glory. Come on, somebody. He said, I will be exalted in the earth. Let me tell you something. The enemy has people People thinking that God is not real anymore. The enemy has people thinking that the power of God is not real. Let me tell you something. It is real, especially to believers that know and have a relationship. Notice what I said, that know him and have a relationship with him. You got to believe your faith has to be so um, high in this season. Cause I'm going to tell you right now, it's treason in this season. Somebody write that in the comments. It's treason in this season. The enemy is trying to come against your mind, what you see. That's why you have to walk by faith and not by sight in this season. You have to know God like you never knew God before. You got to get in your word like never before. I'm so serious. You're going to have to do this. You can't do this without getting in your word. The Bible says meditate in my word day and night and then thou shalt make up my way successful and then you should have good courage and then you should have good success. You can't do this without God. A lot of you are trying to do it in your own flesh and it cannot be done. Praise God. You better give him glory and give him honor. Hallelujah. You're going to have to get on your face. Come on, somebody. You're going to have to pray like you ain't never prayed. You're going to have to believe like you ain't going to never believe. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And stay away from people who drain you. Let me tell you something. The enemy is sending people to distract you on purpose. I, I, I have to be very honest this morning. When people start distracting me, I start looking at you crazy. Yes, I do. I start looking at you real crazy. And I almost want to ask you, what's your assignment? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because you got to be on assignment if you think that you're going to distract me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. The enemy is sending people to drain you mentally, physically, spiritually, and even financially. That's why even support, even before you do something, you're supposed to ask God, you supp- God, should I do this? Because the enemy, let me tell you how the enemy works. The enemy tries to rush you to make a decision. He tries to distract you. So you do not pray. You have to always take time and pray and say, God, is this of you? I don't care how excited you get. You know, I had to learn that even when you remember I was doing the restaurant venture, I got so excited. And then it seems like something was wrong. And, and you would know because you'll feel it. You're like, okay, wait a minute. This look like God. This sound like God. But wait a minute. My spirit. And I had to back up for a moment. And I had to take a couple of days. And I was like, okay, God, I need to know if this is you. I understand. Listen to what I'm saying. I understand this is a great opportunity. But is this the one that you presented? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Or did the enemy do this just to distract me? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all in here. But I'm saying this morning up in here. You can't not, you can't be so um, eager to where you're thinking, okay, this gotta be God because here's the end. Here's the deal. You're knowing your spirit because things, it, it just won't feel right. Your spirit is more real than your flesh. Come on, somebody. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. Because people would get, your flesh would get so excited. Oh my God. Oh my God. And it has nothing to do with God. You always have to ask those hard questions. God, did you send this? God, is this your will? There it goes right there. Folks, we have free will, but guess what? You got to make sure you pick the right thing and choose the right thing. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Because there is such thing as blessings and cursings. And to be honest with you, people are picking cursings, thinking that they're blessings. I just said something. Hallelujah. 
So I want to encourage you this morning. That's what this live is about. It's an encouragement. You know, I know I say a lot of hard things on here because I have to say what thus said the Lord. But I want to encourage you this morning because you can make it. You can win and, and quit trying to compare yourself to other people. What God has for you is for you and nobody could do it but you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We all have an assignment. We all have a mandate. We all have a calling. We all have a ministry, believe it or not. That's why he said many are called and few is chosen. The many y'all want to do what y'all want to do. And that's why you get what you get. But the few... We we're going to stay in there, be still and know that I am God with tears in our eyes, with fear sometimes, not understanding, not knowing, not come on somebody. It, it, it's not easy, but God is with you, said the Lord. God says he loves you with an everlasting love, but you have to get closer to him in this hour. A lot of things are getting ready to happen in this world like never before. You have to know your God. You have to trust your God. You have to believe your God. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Because the enemy is trying to pull you away from God. The enemy is trying to distract you and, and just because I need to say this. Thank you, God. I hear you. Let me tell you something. Just because God allows things that doesn't mean God is against you. I'm going to say that again. Just because God allow things, that doesn't mean God is against you. God is testing you. God tested everybody in that Bible. Do you think that you are different? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I think we think we different. This generation think that they're privileged. We are not that privileged. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You will be tested. You will be tried. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is not playing. Because he wants to know if you, first of all, God knows everything that you're going to do. He knows you. Most of the time, those tests, those trials, that's for you to know you. Because sometimes you don't know what's in you until it come out. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Tell me, I'll never do that and end up doing it. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. You got to be strong in the Lord. And keep your mouth off people. In this season, be very careful what you say about people. I'm, I'm very serious. Watch what you're saying. Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those that love it should eat the fruit thereof. Be careful what you say because it comes back into your own life. And you know, it's all right to tell the truth, but you better be careful. Did God tell you to say that? Because I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of y'all talking a whole lot of stuff. That's the world. The world just spew out anything in the movies, on TV, uh, in real life. They just say anything that comes to their mind. You have to be mindful of what you say, mindful of what you do. Come on, somebody, especially if you're a Christian, you can't be cursing and acting a fool. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It does matter how you handle things. You're supposed to handle it with composure. God never said that it would be easy, but he said, I'll be there for you. I'll be there with you through the fire. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And when the enemy come in like a flood, I'll raise up a standard against him. God is with you. God is with you. God is with you, said the Lord. But you have to be with you. You have to do the right thing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I just want to get up on here and encourage you. It's not going to be easy, but stay strong in the Lord. Get on your face, pray and fast. A lot of you don't want to fast. I know you're, I know you're working, you have obligations, but I'm telling you right now, the season that we are in, you have to be strong in the Lord. You don't have a choice. And if you don't believe me, keep living. It's getting hot out here. Them devils is real. Now don't get it twisted. God is all powerful. Cause I'm going to read that again before I get up off, off of here. Psalm 46, 10 says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Do you not believe God? Come on somebody. Hallelujah. And God has not forgotten about you. I keep hearing me say that again. A lot of you feel like, when is it my turn? It's not your turn right now, but it will come. Will you be prepared? That's the question. When your time comes, will you be prepared? Right now, you're supposed to be training, getting in shape mentally, physically, spiritually, even financially. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because God cannot bless no mess. You got to understand that God is a God of order. So if you want to be blessed by God and you know that it's coming, you have to be ready to able to move when God say move. Go when he say go. Preach when he say preach. Teach when he say teach. Minister. That's another thing. Are you out there witnessing? When you see people broken, are you saying prayers for them? Are you saying, can I pray for you? Do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Y'all think this again? This is real. People are dying without God. That's what we're supposed to be doing. That's the number one thing we're supposed to be doing on this earth. Witnessing. Hallelujah to his name. Letting them know the good news. Oh, come on, somebody. He said, I've come to save those that was lost. Those that was lost. Excuse me. Come on, somebody. When the last time you ministered? When the last time you just told somebody God loves you? Hallelujah to his name. 
Good morning, everybody. All righty. Well, God bless you. God keep you. I pray that you make it a great day. Remember, touch somebody's life today. Not just your families, but touch somebody's life. As a matter of fact, you know, bless your enemies. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I know you want to be mad at them and talk about them on Facebook, but bless your enemies. Bless your enemies. If you start living out that word, preaching that word, teaching that word, you'd be surprised how your life will change. Jesus spoke the word. He did not speak his opinion, what he felt. And I'm sure he felt some ways about them Pharisees and Sadducees. Now, he did say, you old vipers of snakes, but hey, that, that was different. <laughs> All right, you guys. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is who we are. Have a great day. God bless.